everyone. Hello, this is Dave, and welcome to Equity Story. I'm with uh, Wolfie, and of course, we got live today at 12 o'clock, and uh, good price action last night in the market. So a little bit of a little bit of a nice uh, day today, rather than uh, I think the last sort of week and a half has been a little bit miserable. Uh, but so a little bit of a cheer, a few stocks moving up, and a few stocks looking a little bit better. So. Uh, Wolfie, just before I start, this is obviously just a general share advice, not personal advice. Um, but you know what, Wolfie, I, I, looking through last night, it looked pretty bleak, actually, for, for trading for next week. But today's bounce, hopefully, has given us a few more charts that we can get on Einstein's, which would be great. Now, mm -hmm. what I thought we would do is, um, uh, by the way, Wolf. Yes. Have you seen the latest uh, alien? The alien, mummified aliens discovered in mexico now mm -hmm. now there you go it's presented to parliament what <laughs> they're very little right they're not they're not as big as it looks, it looks like but, they made it from clay dave yeah but you know what scare scares me they look i they're about your size they look they, they i don't know there's, there's something they've got that bald look and that sort of rounded head you've got it could um, be any from Wolverhampton, for all we know. I mean, uh, Dave. What? <laughs> I don't know. With the aliens, like you know, admitting there's aliens and now alien bodies being found, it's it's becoming a very interesting planet, Wolf, isn't it? What? Yeah. Look, I, this we know. We talked about it before. Yes, there is life outside of Earth. Are we ever going to be see, see, see absolute proof in our lifetimes? Maybe not, but there's probably will be sometime down down the line. Um. Anyway, say no, say no more. Say no more. Any uh, listen, if there are any aliens out there, any sort of trending advice or future, uh, let us know because obviously we're we we are. Uh, well, all... I could be alien because I'm getting so many things right. <laughs> Well, that's what I'm thinking, Wolf. You look a little bit like that thing. Anyway, so we're 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 suspicious. So. Talking about um, uh, getting things right and wrong, let's talk about, there's one stock that put its announcement out today, Metcash. Mm -hmm. um, and it's an interesting one, this fourth, because look, it's had this big sell down, right, since uh, May. And this is the nature of the markets because the markets are, are like to be forward thinking. So they like to look 12 months. And I think what the market said in May, they were all oh, Metcash, like you said, it's uh, not going to do well in this environment. And, you know, it's going to really suffer. But I'll tell you what, Get sold down, but the announcement today, you liked it. You liked it, Wolf. Well, you know, you've seen this, all these retailers, right, put out their announcements. The first seven, eight weeks of the 2024 financial year, retail sales are down 5%, 10%, la, la, la. These guys are coming up. 18 weeks to September the 3rd, group total sales increased 1.7%. ka -ching, I'll take that. So the food... Um, X tobacco increased 6%, 1.1% including tobacco. That's pretty good. Um, hardware, total hardware sales increased 3.2%. Thank you very much. Liquor, total sales increased 1.7%. Dave, I mean, it, 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 you know, these numbers are better than some of the other bloody retailers that are coming up. So at least from that point of view, you go to yourself, well, this is definitely one of the better retailers out there. So if I'm looking for dividends, if I've got it as a dividend player, I'm fairly safe. All right, all right. So good, good announcement. And if you it, you've got it as a dividend, it is a dividend stock for you. Just it's a hold. Uh, Wolfie, it is really quiet today. So what I thought we'd do is like I'd say this was pretty good last week. Is look at the Einsteins, and if people mm -hmm. in them just say what we're going to do. If if you don't mind, um, I'll get, I'll ask you to do the long term view if you should sell it or hold it, right? And then maybe I'll do the short term. Or we we'll both do it together, maybe. So the 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 first one is that uh, we had on Einstein's was uh, Beach Petroleum, which is actually looking even better. So you know, if I was in this, uh, uh, technically I'd be holding it. I think it looks even better than what it did before, and I'd be targeting still just somewhere around this one seven five level wolf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, SMR most probably I said this you my fav uh, out of them all. For next week, actually, Wolf, absolutely love the price action. And even as we're talking, it's creeping up. Um, good story. And I mean, again, this is what you want to be, trading good stories. And if I was in this one, I'd be holding it because, um, you know, you'd think 350, we've got to, we've got to hope. 400%. I, 
Just yeah. look at um, iron ore, right? This, this, these guys are tied into the iron ore and still making because of the metallurgical coal uh, that they sell. And I think 90% of the sales is metallurgical coal for, for SMR. So yeah. overall, I think you see iron ore now 120 bucks. Thank you very much. I'll, you know, I'll take this trade. This looks good. <laughs> uh, this is probably one of the better ones I've seen, like you said. Is this a hot stock? Possibly. Is this one of my hot stocks? Possibly. I'll have to yeah. assess it today, but it's looking very, very hot right now. Yeah, the price action is 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 superb. But you know, uh, Wolf, and then of course, you know, um, you know, the the uranium stocks were really bullish, and surprise, surprise, they they really both um, BMN and AGE have had lovely little moves. Uh, uh, you know, more than ten percent, and and again, you know, I look on that. And I'm just trying having a look at uranium again. Um, yeah, it's still well. Last updated on September, it still uh, looks very, very strong. And you feel that this has got further to go. You know, you'd feel that BMN is going to got a little bit more under that three dollars, and you feel that even AGE would have a little bit more before it hits resistance around uh, 0.78. You still feel it's got another another week in it, Wolf or two. I think. Oh, um, I think the day, I, you know, when we read that article yesterday, when we took up some ex excerpts out of it, if there is something in there, in it which is true and believable, and I uh, and the uranium price does go for a run, say you know past seventy bucks, 80, 90 bucks, you know, I think these AGEs, BOEs, you could double your money with them. Yeah, I, but I, I I've think... seen, you know, I've seen this. I've seen this moment before, uranium boom, 10 years ago, right? So I know what it can do. I, I've seen it with my own eyes. I've experienced it with my own trading. So um, anything is possible. So if you're eyeing on these, some of these stories, don't sell too early, but also you know, be, be also wary of things can end, end very quickly. So, And and with, and Wolf, with all these stories, you, you can go to, if you want to have a tight stop loss and you're, you, know, you are a short-term trade, you can actually go to, you could do something like on a 60 minute chart, right? You could use your stop yep. loss there, yep. right? I think, yep. you know, just go to a tighter uh, time frame. Um, mm -hmm. um, and that was a really bullish article yesterday, Wolf. But I mean, like you always say, it's only one person or opinion. And, you know, if you go on uh, trading economics, they're not mm -hmm. as bullish, right? So, you, you know, just understand this one person's opinion and uh, and other people have different opinions. Uh, you've right. got a AEE. Um, most probably, I don't know, Wolfie, maybe with this one, I'm more likely technically to be taking a profit because uh, I think it might have a little bit more to go. But, you know, if I'd made a nice sort of 5%, I might take it on this one uh, because there is a lot of resistance at 35 and it might edge up 33, 34. But, you know, to be honest with you, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too greedy in it. Mm -hmm. um, that's a short term, obviously, trading point of view. Very impressed with WGX. Again, they really went through that bullish signal absolutely beautifully. Uh, I think it had a buy signal a few weeks ago, and 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 really, it actually looks better now than it did last week. So, you know, you you, you you'd be going on with this, and you'd be uh, and actually, if you look on this price action, you say buy me. It looks superb. Um, you've got Wagner, which uh, you know, look at that how it struggled on that resistance, but I'd still be holding it. Uh, because not enough damage for me to say this can't go go on with it, and yeah, again, so yeah, and I like the fact that you, you know, you've you've given it a good tick on the old. I had a look through it, so you know, it gives me that extra incentive to hold a little bit longer. Yes. Yeah, obviously AZS hasn't gone on with it. Highly risky stock, so please just a, a tight stop on it. You know, if I look on that daily, you know, I think my stop actually wolf. Look at it. Ever since it's had that move, it hasn't broken that. So too. Yeah, maybe it's 263. I'll keep a tight stop on a story like this. Mm -hmm. uh, Lot um, uh, had a nice move. Maybe it could go a little bit higher. But again, I don't know the story too well. Um, another what? Another uranium. You know, you, I think these uranium plays, if you're making profits, there's nothing wrong. You know, if you if you made 5% or 10%, bloody, or 6%, take it. I honestly, I think... These sort of stories just don't be too greedy. It has had a bit of a run um, and maybe a bit of resistance at 30. Uh, BUX, um, you know, we're holding it. We know a little bit more about that. The price action is great. Obviously, waiting on drill results. That EVO, which we're actually trending, 
And unfortunately, Wolfie, I don't think it quite hit our... Um, I think people made profits on it, but it didn't quite hit our target price where we were high 78. Or maybe it did. Maybe it did hit our target price. That's why it got sold down. But I still like it. I haven't got a problem with that. There's a the breakout. Um, so don't mind that at all. Uh, IPX uh, had a good move. Um, and again, um, you know, the price action is actually very, very, very good. I mean, I think your problem is there was there was your your high before, and maybe the traders are looking at that to take profits before that high. Again, you know what's it gone? One forty two, one fifty. It's you know it's it's seven percent. I mean, one week you take it. I wouldn't be greedy on that one. Uh, I agree. I agree. Um, Especially with you know like maybe companies that are not super quality, you definitely look at uh, taking some profits. Yeah. Again, Biz Wolf. I mean. You know, it might listen. It might just edge up to that two thirty, two forty. But again, you know, okay, you might get another three or four percent out of it. Uh, but what if I'd made seven percent? I'd take it. I think I'd be very happy with that. You know, we always say about just don't be too greedy. Um, SNL, I'd be holding in there. So you know, one of the better looking charts. IPG, you know, scratch your head. Had a fantastic move up to that five dollars, and the traders came in, but still looks. Absolutely superb, and I'll take that buy signal on IPG any day, Wolf. Absolutely, absolutely, uh, absolutely love it. So definitely a, a hold. I think the most disappointing one actually has been NXL, and uh, that sort of sell down. So that would be one for those short term traders. You might be saying, um, time to say goodbye and get out of it. Maybe long term, like you said, you you could hold it, but short term, I think it's a sell. Um, now, this will make you happy, BKW, because you, you love quality and you love quality breaking out, Wolf. Um, I mean, it looked, yeah, it looked good last week. It looks even better. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, it's not too late. I mean, for me, that is a buy. I think you said to me earlier, risk event announcement, fairly soon company announcement, but uh, uh, BXB, mm -hmm. um, yeah, listen, still holding in near the top there. I'm still... Um, you know, if you look on, you know, switch the charts, look at every chart, the daily still looks absolutely fantastic. Maybe just, you know, holding that trend. So it doesn't give you any reason to get out, as does LYL, slightly up. So I'd be holding that. CYG, uh, then a little move, but yeah, definitely um, technically looks still absolutely fine. MAQ, more of a serious type of play, just gone back into this sideways movement. So, Ah, you know, I like the story. If you've got that more medium-term approach, you could hold it. Um, if you're short-term, maybe it's going to go sideways. You could sell and try and find something looking a little bit more bullish. Um, mm -hmm. t &E, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, um, I don't think you could really look at, uh, you know, short-term, it needs to break through that 16, but you feel, you know, good story, holding trend lines. Uh, I think you just got to be patient with it, Wolf, and and might take a few weeks, but hopefully break through that sixteen. Um, DHG, yeah, look, been very average, really. It's not awful, but I think it's a more of the poorest trend we put on, and I think you know it, it hasn't really gone on with it. Yeah, you could argue it's a hold, or listen, if you find something you like even more, it doesn't do you any harm to sell this and and get something else and sg i uh had a little bit of move and come back and arguably still a hold but again possibly still a pretty awful story right so a weak story so if you're in these sort of stories you've got to be careful um so wolf all in all um they they're doing well i think we had um we had uh, um, we had two buy signals and we had uh, dbi which is really more of a dividend stock. And uh, so, yeah, we put the buy signal out. And I think uh, the other buy signal was um, TLX, wasn't it? Yep. And, uh, of course, they had a, they had that massive leap of faith and they just come back down to where they, they started. Uh, it's quite it's quite funny how a lot, of, a lot of stories, Wolf, a lot of these good ones are having a move and the traders are coming in pretty quickly, aren't they? Smacking them down pretty hard. It just shows general public doesn't have too much belief in in the market or a lot of these stories maybe more belief in uranium maybe more belief in uh 
some of the bigger caps, but a lot of stories that they're very, very keen to take profits at the moment. Yeah, but I think it's a, it's a, you know, it's it's a lesson for all the traders out there. Follow what the trends are right now. Take profits, even in the middle of the week, because you can get four, five percent in the middle of the week. Take it, right? Don't be rigid with your strategies. If you see volatility, quick movements up and down, follow it. You know, don't yeah. be trying to smarter than the market. That's that's that's. I think that's the lesson for at the moment right now in the short term trading environment. Um, they are working, but you've got to be much quicker than previously where you go, oh, I can live it for a week or two and you know, I'll still make money. No, I mean, you could miss that initial spike up like we assume TLX comes back and you think to yourself, well, what am I doing? What you're doing is you're not obviously following the trends and the trends are out now is take some profits when you see them. It doesn't matter what time of the week it is. Uh, and again, I think that's really, really, really well said, Wolfie. It is that sort of world we're living in at the moment, mm. right? until we get some more solid market momentum. Yeah, stability, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, on that note, um, we are live at uh, at uh, 12 o'clock. So um, go and blow your nose. Um, Sorry about that. It's just for a sneezing attack, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I did most of the oh, talking. Good looking chart, by the way, that this Babcor one. I like it. There's a couple of interesting... I know you said SMR... Babcor, but CIA also that I'm looking, I'm thinking some of these things because you know we haven't we talked about the, the commodities today. So uranium obviously is still strong, but oil and gas now at 90 bucks crude, right? So that's still pretty good space. I really like him. I'm liking this chart, I have to say. Well, you know what? The iron oil is like 122 bucks now. Yeah, and do you know what? Yeah, funny when you look at CIA when it's broken up, it's actually, you know, you talk about the easy money. Well, maybe that is the easy run. Yep, that's right. So, Up to maybe so, seven or seven fifty, something like that, right? <laughs> Just well, well, you got you got a good risk risk reward there. Certainly. So you so um so it's maybe maybe one to have a look at, mm. right? Mm. Um um I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll listen. I'll I'll mention it on the. Yep. I can put it. I can put it on as fishy as a trade. Uh, it's a highly high risk one, but uh, why not? That's what we're here for, aren't we? A little good trades and a few risky ones and. And uh, maybe if we can put CIA on, have a look at it. Yeah, but join us for the Ask the Analyst. I mean, that, that's that's the key because we've got so many ideas. And, you know, give us another couple of hours of the market to see how things are going. I mean, by the, in two hours, two and a half hours, we could see CIA back to six bucks again. So that's why it's like one of those, join us for the ATA because we get up-to-date live information to see how things are going. Well, I think you make a good point there, Wolf. Let's let's play the CTM. Let's wait till the close on Friday. You know, yes. if CIA is on Einstein's guys, it's looking like this. Then I think we've got a good buy. On that great. note, thanks, to, thank you for the great Wolfie and Wolfie. Uh, go and get your makeup, and I'll see you in a bit. Cheers. See you then. Okay. Bye, man. Bye.